probiotics won't heal your gut. But you can heal your gut with these five steps. This is Just Be Well, the channel about whole life wellness. My name is Tom Salt. I'm a medical doctor and functional medicine practitioner. I'm Elizabeth, a registered nurse and also the wellness coach here at Just Be Well. According to the NIH, 60 to 70 million people mm -hmm. have gut issues in the United States. And 15 million estimated have IBS. That's irritable bowel syndrome. Mm -hmm. So when we're thinking about the function of the gut, we use a mnemonic called DIG IN. So dig in stands for, the D is digest. So digestion is obviously an important piece of the function of the gut. The I stands for intestinal permeability. If the protective lining of your gut is allowing things through that shouldn't be going through, your body is going to respond to them. It's going to lead to toxicity. It can lead to autoimmune responses. And that can lead to systemic disease. So mm -hmm. um, gut permeability is a big issue, and it, it really is one of the cornerstones of health. Mm -hmm. Gut microbiota is the G. Gut microbiota, also known as the microbiome, is this teeming ecology of bacteria in your gut. And we now know that they have far-reaching effects. They, they affect everything from uh, our immunity, our ability to detoxify, Mm -hmm. um, the inflammatory milieu within our body, even food choices and mood. I, inflammation and immunity. We all know that most diseases start with inflammation. Inflammation begins in the gut. We it, think of it infl as it, starting in the joints, but mm -hmm. really we have tremendous control over inflammation in the gut. Mm -hmm. Immunity. 70% of our immune system is found in our gut. If our gut isn't healthy, we are not going to have an optimal immune system. The N stands for the nervous system, mm -hmm. and here we're really talking about the autonomic nervous mm -hmm. system and autonomic balance. Mm -hmm. You know, if you are always in fight or flight, which frankly most people that I see are, mm -hmm. um, you're shunting blood away from your gut to go to your muscles. And that means you have less blood flow to your gut, mm -hmm. means you don't digest well, you don't mm -hmm. absorb well. 70% of your immune system, as it was just described, lines your gut, so you're shunting blood away from your immune system. So there's all kinds of problems going on if we don't have a balanced nervous system in the gut. Mm -hmm. So we'll get to these five steps mm -hmm. on how to heal your gut in just a minute, but stick around to the end. We've got some great free stuff for you at the end. Please subscribe, please hit the bell um, so you can be notified when we come up with new content. So we all know, unfortunately, one size does not fit all, but there is a way to create a personalized, systemized approach to your gut issues. But don't get complacent. If you've had gut issues for a long time, you really need a diagnosis. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because uh, gut issues can be anything from thyroid problems to an infection to even cancer. So don't just play games with your health. If you've had significant symptoms for a long time, <laughs> you get an attack there? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, if you've had significant <laughs> symptoms, get it looked into. And if they can't help you, then these five steps are how you do it. So what are these five steps? They're called the five R's. First, remove, replace, re-inoculate, repair, and rebalance. So let's go through those in a little <laughs> bit of detail. So we have remove. What are we going to remove? Well, bad stuff. Mm -hmm. Toxins. Toxins, things that aren't healthy for you in your diet. Mm -hmm. So, you know, refined mm -hmm. foods and bad bugs. So if you have parasites or pathogens or potential pathogens or imbalanced bacteria, we want to get rid of those. The best way to get rid of those, frankly, is not to go after them with antibiotics and all that kind of stuff. It's to repair your diet. So remove bad things from your diet. And then replace. Well, we want to replace healthy things. So mm -hmm. we want digestive factors like enzymes mm -hmm. and vitamins and minerals and all that kind of stuff. We want to replace all these digestive factors. Re-inoculate. Re inoculate mm -hmm. means get good bugs growing mm -hmm. in your gut. And people think this means take a probiotic. But probiotics don't stick. Mm -mm. So we need something else. And there's only two ways to get bacteria to stick in your gut. Uh, one is uh, food. 
What's the other one? <laughs> the second one is stool plantation. Stool transplantation. transplantation. So, <laughs> so you, you basically take an enema of somebody else's stool. So we focus on food. <laughs> we focus on food. And, you know, I'd like to add that, you know, probiotics, no, they don't colonize, but they are kind of a good Band-Aid for good it, this process. They are a good Band-Aid. They so can we, help with symptoms. That, yeah, it's not that we mm -hmm. don't recommend probiotics. We mm -hmm. do, but they aren't the solution. They're no. just a Band-Aid. Mm -hmm. So you take the probiotics to soothe your gut while you're changing your diet. And you're changing your diet by incorporating prebiotics. So what are some prebiotics? Good prebiotics food. are foods. So like green leafy vegetables are a great prebiotic. Yep. So um, almost every fruit and every vegetable has mm -hmm. prebiotics. So, um, you know, a whole foods diet is a prebiotic mm -hmm. diet. So if you're eating whole foods uh, that have all of the fiber remaining, then you're going to be on a high whole food diet. Mm -hmm. prebiotic diet. So prebiotics are really crucial and it's diversity that matters. You know, just taking a prebiotic supplement or you're getting the same oat bran, mm -hmm. oat bran, oat bran, oat bran, that's not it. It's diversity. So we want you to be eating a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. So people talk about get your five a day. That comes from get your three to five vegetables, they take the three. Your two to three fruits, they take the two. And that's how they get five. Nobody talks about get your eight a day. We need that, double. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's only for healthy people. Mm -hmm. If you don't feel good, you need more than mm -hmm. eight a day. So get your eight plus a day, and then you're going to be getting good variety. Of Eat the rainbow. Eat you the really rainbow. want a variety that's of not colors. Skittles, by the way. No, Skittles don't count. <laughs> <laughs> the next R was repair. So repair means to heal the gut. Now, part of that is the prebiotics because there's about a 30 micron biofilm, healthy probiotic biofilm around the lining of the gut, and that um, helps with barrier function. But then other things that help with barrier function, you know, reduce inflammation in the gut. So some fish oil, some curcumin, mm -hmm. things like that, some tea catechin, I can't even say the word, but tea antioxidants, um, things like that. An anti-inflammatory diet. Anti-inflammatory diet. Mm -hmm. And again, all those fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. are going to help heal your gut. And then lastly is rebalance. And rebalance mm -hmm. is really about the lifestyle piece. There's something that got you to the place where you needed the 5R in the first place. So it was probably your lifestyle. It was the not so great um, diet. It was the crazy lifestyle of burning the candle at all three ends. Mm -hmm. Sympathetic and, overdrive all the time. So those are the five R's. And this is a powerful framework to build a highly customized mm -hmm. program. But you really need all five of those. And so, you know, people say, oh, well, just take this or take that or take the other thing. No, you need to address all five of those things in the way in which it is unique to you. So we've got more specific t tips for you at home. But first, if this kind of information is interesting to you and helpful to you, please subscribe and please hit the button, uh, the bell, because uh, we've got lots more like this coming. So what to do? What can we do at home? Sleep is the time that our body is able to heal. The most significantly deficient um, lifestyle piece, sleep. Okay. Because somehow we think sleep isn't important, but sleep is when you heal. How many hours of sleep do we need a night? Bare rock bottom minimum, seven. Mm -hmm. and seven. Really going for eight is better. Mm -hmm. So when you're thinking about sleep, think about this. Do you want your brain surgeon to be functioning on five hours of sleep? Do you want your, the pilot of your airplane to be functioning on five hours of sleep? So the next one is relaxation. Relaxation helps bring us out of that sympathetic mm -hmm. overdrive, that fight or flight. But we already talked about how fight or flight shunts blood away from your gut so it can't heal. You know, I see people every day uh, and they have the great diet. And in fact, we did a whole video on this, but they had a, a great diet, great supplements, great probiotics. And they're still, they have dysbiosis and leaky gut and terrible problems. And it's because they're in fight or flight all the time. And mm -hmm. fight or flight leads to leakiness and poor immune function and a difficult time healing. So mm -hmm. relaxation is critically important if you're having gut issues. So that doesn't mean just sleeping, but that's important, but it mm -hmm. means meditating and doing things in a joyful manner, in a present manner, to prevent you from always being pushed into fight or flight. Mm 
Mm -hmm. The next thing you can do is movement, some kind of movement. And I'm not talking about running marathons. Everybody freaks out and thinks I'm talking about going to the gym. I'm talking about mindful walks. Go on a walk for the enjoyment of the walk. Stay present on the mm -hmm. walk. That movement and that presence, it helps balance your autonomic nervous system like we just talked about with other relaxation. And then movement, exercise. Exercise has been shown to be the single most important thing besides social connection to your health. So it's social connection and then it's movement. Mm -hmm. And then it's food. <laughs> you know, social connection, mm -hmm. movement, food. But we focus on food and we mm -hmm. focus on vitamins. Everybody wants to know which vitamin, which vitamin, which vitamin. No. Social connection, movement, food. Mm -hmm. And then way down here, down below the screen someplace, is supplements. Nutrition. As Dr. Salt was saying, food. <laughs> right. <laughs> Nutrition is very important. We can take all the vitamins in the world, but absorption-wise, you're going to absorb natural whole foods the best yep. so you want to diet high as we said before in whole foods whole foods are quick whole foods are easy our body knows exactly what to do with them they help to fight inflammation and heal our bodies i like to say whole foods are the new fast food you know yep. you can have dinner on the table in 20 minutes mm -hmm. every night with wholesome beautiful food we're up here actually we just came from um, a family event so we went out and went to the store and bought heirloom tomatoes and um eggs avocados. and avocados and we made we had whole grain toast with eggs and avocado and um tomato and those mm -hmm. heirloom tomatoes were deep red mm -hmm. and luscious and beautiful and tasty and just the other day uh, to, yeah, today, in fact, we bought some just regular store tomatoes because mm -hmm. there wasn't a health food store in the tiny town we were in. And they were like terrible. They had it's so different. They had 10% of the flavor of those mm -hmm. heirloom organic tomatoes. But, but anyway, the point I'm trying to make is a beautiful whole food breakfast really quick. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is really quick to just chop them up and get them done. Mm hmm. And I know sometimes starting off, especially if you're not used to buying organic, it can be very expensive. And it is expensive, but you can eliminate most of the exposure by Dirty Dozen Clean 15. Right. If you don't know anything about this, look it up on EWG.org. They have a list. Yep. Environmental Working Group, mm -hmm. EWG.org. They have a list. Clean 15, Dirty, dirty Dozen. dozen. Yeah. Another big one is stress. How can we manage our stress? Because we're not going to get away from having a less stressful life. So it's really our relationship to stress that is the issue. And this is a big one for me. If somebody is trying to teach you stress reduction techniques, just laugh and walk away. No. Stress management, because mm -hmm. we all have busy lives, right? Mm -hmm. But it's a relationship to the things in our lives that causes stress. It's not the things. Mm -hmm. The last one is relationships you know, cultivate relationships that are healthy. And that really goes back to some communication videos that we've done in the past. You know, if you are um, unsure, if you're feeling uneasy about something, you need to ask, you need to question, you need to clarify. Most of the angst and anxiety we have surrounding our relationships is because we've made assumptions mm -hmm. or we haven't clarified. And if you do those things, you're pointing to your head. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, a lot of our problems are come, inside our own head. They're inside our own heads. Yeah. They're completely off assumptions and making things up in right. our own scenarios. Right. Sorry. The probability, <laughs> no, that's good. The probability <laughs> is, is that the people you love in your life are not out to get you. Mm -hmm. And if you feel like they are, you've probably made some assumptions. Mm -hmm. And if they are out to get you, you probably need different people in your life. <laughs> <laughs> so just to recap, the five R's remove, replace, Reinoculate, repair, and rebalance. Mm -hmm. And that's how you create a custom program, but it all is done through those lifestyle things that we talked about. So, really focus on diet, focus on stress management, focus on movement, and focus on whole foods. All right, this is Just Be Well, the channel about whole life wellness. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>